Hi guys. Yeah. I'm not Monday. I'm Friday. I came home from school today and I made my video early. Like, I thought it would take me a lot of editing, but it didn't. It took me like three hours. So, I'm done. So, me and Nolan switched days, so you'll see his video on Friday. So, yeah. Sorry for the mix up. Okay. So, I don't really know if I did this right. Focuses on one topic and one event that happened. So, yeah, it gets kind of depressing, I guess. I mean, I watched it after I made it and I started to cry. It got intense. But yeah, the people in the video are actually me now, not 7th grade me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't have pictures and videos of my high school laptop about me in middle school. The videos at the end are of mm, a lot of my closest friends right now. I have more friends, I just don't have videos of them on my laptop and it's kind of hard. So, yeah. And if you're hinted to at this video, you probably know who you are. So, have fun with that. Bye. Enjoy watching my letter to my 7th grade me. Okay, so this is a letter to 7th grade me. I know that you hate yourself right now. You go home and you eat and eat and eat. And then, after eating that much, you just stop for weeks. You hate yourself for it. I know you do. But you can't help it. You still go and you go home. At the beginning of every week, you eat as much as you can when you get home from school. And then, you stop for the rest of the week, and nobody even notices. What is it? Is it the thrill, the possibility of getting caught? Or is it just because you seriously hate yourself for it? I don't know. Maybe you seriously do hate yourself right now. It's hard for me to remember exactly how I was feeling. This has been going on for so long. Did it start when my mom died? When? I don't even remember now. I just know that it's tearing me up inside. And only recently have I actually admitted to it. So please, don't step on the scale anymore. Stop staring at the number and stop letting that number define you. You're not alone as you think you are. So please, I get that people are mean and the words are cruel, but it's just middle school. You'll get on, and in high school, trust me, it'll get, get a lot better. People will actually care. So stop looking in the mirror. Stop. Take a breath and smile. Because in the future, somebody will help you through it. And they'll tell you that they believe you can do it. They know you can do it. As time goes on, you'll figure out who your true friends are. You'll stop worrying about who's lying to you. You'll look and you'll see all the people around you that actually care for you and your well-being. So stop, go, and smile. You're in seventh grade. You're young. Your life isn't over. I can't lie to you. There will be tears. There will be pain. You'll come out stronger than you were before, I promise. Start to work on forgetting memories now because they hurt. And work on forgiving people because you'll lose a lot of people if you don't. Start telling people how you feel now or you'll regret it later and get caught up in all your lies. So smile. Look at all the people trying to make you laugh. You're a lot more beautiful when you do. Don't let people use you either. People have used you a lot in the future. And you'll find that out. Never give your all until you know they're not going to walk away and giving it all themselves. You'll risk it far too easily, darling. So smile. You're getting better. With love, the current you. Baby, I'm gonna take you somewhere fresh. Soon as
as I get my next paycheck, baby, trust me, you'll see how your girls wish your name man was like me. So won't you take my hand, baby, close your eyes, and we'll make love till we see the sunrise on the beach, though, white sand. I promise forever, I'm your man. So just ride to the left and ride to the right. If you know your baby, gon' make it all right, say. Hey.